As you can imagine, we got a lot of rants on what we all watched unfold Wednesday in the Capitol. So let's get right away now to Bruce. Is this the USA I, or did I wake up in Venezuela breaking into the Capitol, defacing property and not admitting a thing you did was wrong while the goose who started this is still hiding in the security of the White House? Get him out of there however you have to before the 20th. If you don't, innocent lives and blood will be shed, I fear. This man is beyond insane. Here's Kenneth on what he says is a double standard. If you blame Trump for the violence yesterday, then why don't you blame Biden and Harris for not condemning the violence during the BLM riots? The truth Truth is, right-leaning Americans have no voice in this country. Yesterday was horrible, but it was caused by politicians on both sides failing to listen. America is a volcano waiting to explode. Cooler heads should be in play. Wanda says, yeah, there was a double standard at play for sure, one that kept the white people bursting into the Capitol, out of jail. Any black person seeing this go down knows how this had been at black people. It would have been over quickly with a lot of dead black people. Stop the racism. Jerry tells us who he blames. It was a message to all politicians. Reap what you sow. Maybe cowering in their shelter Wednesday is exactly what they needed. The last four years of disrespect from Democrats has come back to haunt them. Blood is on their hand. Judith says the blame belongs to the mob and those who enabled them. The white supremacist mob that laid siege to the Capitol have no excuse. They choose to believe lies and conspiracy theories, just like Trump, a bunch of thugs. The numerous enablers in Congress, the White House and elsewhere are equally responsible for feeding people lies that resulted in the insurrection. And from Randy, I just lost all respect for America, all because Trump supporters can't face the facts that Trump lost. I mean, for God's sake, people, get over it. This is America. The first two callers on whether Trump should be impeached. For the past six months, we have been putting up with their party, burning up our police departments, looting, breaking out windows, and our small business owners ruining their lives, Portland, Seattle, Missouri, etc. That was okay. What a double standard. Now we should impeach our president. Trump, and I won't even call him Mr., that's too good for him, should not only be impeached, he should be arrested and go to prison for treason. And he can take that little lawyer, Giuliani, with him, and they can hold hands for the next 25 years or until death do them part. These are hardworking, taxpaying Americans that were out there, and a lot of these people are pretty mad. And I think Mr. Biden better take that into account as he becomes president, that there's two sides to a story, and there's one side that's not being represented very darn well. It was disgusting to see those people march on the Capitol, bus windows out, people get shot, people get hurt. This president, Trump, he needs to go. I'm glad we have a president, Joe Biden, who cares about us. Greg, with a question a lot of us would like an answer to. So isn't the bigger issue here the fact that a few thousand rioters made it all the way to the floor of Congress? How is that possible? And perhaps we shouldn't let that kind of information out. This is the place for you to be heard. The email address is therant at fox5vegas.com. Give us a call at 436-8285.